Hello students, in this video we are going to discuss about the simple microscope. Simple microscope is nothing but a convergent lens or a convex lens. What is the principle behind this? When the object is placed between the focus and the optical center, a virtual magnified and erect image is formed. Here in this ray diagram, this is the convex lens, thin convex lens we are taking with smaller focal length and uh, this is the focus between the focus and optic center, we are taking the object of height h. If you draw the ray diagram, one ray pass parallel to the principal axis will undergo refraction and pass through the focus. One more ray which is passing through the optic center so that will travel without any deviation but these two rays are refractor rays are divergent rays. If you extend this divergent rays in the opposite direction they will appear to diverge from a point A dash here. That means the image is formed here of height H dash. Now the angle done by the image at the eye of the observer when seeing through the instrument is beta. The same object without the lens if the observer is observing the angle done by this object whenever it is at, a, at the least distance of distinct vision it makes an angle alpha. Now, what we are going to find out? We are going to find out the magnifying power. So, the magnifying power or it is also called as angular magnification is equal to beta by alpha where beta is the visual angle with the instrument alpha is the maximum visual angle for unaided eye from this mp is equal to beta can be taken as tan beta if beta is smaller we can write h divided by minus u from the triangle a c b beta is equal to h by u we are using sign convention divided by alpha from the first diagram alpha is equal to tan alpha is equal to h divided by minus d. Here we are applying the sign convention again that is equal to d by u. It is the general expression for magnifying power of simple microscope. Take this equation number 1. Here two cases we will discuss. The case 1 when the final image is formed at infinity. Then, 
from the lens equation 1 by v minus 1 by u is equal to 1 by f here minus actually 1 by minus infinity minus of 1 by minus u I am applying the sign convention for u and v that is equal to 1 by f after simplification we will get u is equal to f so from equation number 1 we can write magnifying power or angular magnification is equal to d by u that is nothing but equal to d by f name it equation number 2 next to case 2 when the final image is formed at d that is v is equal to minus d according to sign convention then again if you are using the lens equation 1 by v minus 1 by u is equal to 1 by f from this 1 by minus d minus of 1 by minus u is equal to 1 by f from this we can write 1 by u is equal to 1 by d plus 1 by f by multiplying both the sides with the d we will get d by u is equal to d by d plus d by f from this we can use equation number 1 from equation number 1 we have that is also is equal to 1 plus d by f we have magnifying power is equal to d by u that is equal to 1 plus d by f this is another mathematical formula for magnifying power we can name it equation number 3 so in the second equation magnifying power is equal d by f in the second formula that is equation number 3 magnifying power is equal to 1 plus d by f so in the equation number 3 this magnifying power can be maximum with compared to the second expression here clearly it is showing that magnifying power is inversely proportional to the focal length of the simple microscope or convex lens so as focal length is smaller magnifying power of a simple microscope will be higher thank you